What up, creative faces? In this video, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into how to quantize your audio. Sometimes I'm adding audio to my project and it's not necessarily locking in place like I need to. I'm going to show you that process. So in this project, I've already started doing something to a song that I'm working on. I'm going to start breaking it down just to show, show you, you know, how, how I do it here in Studio One. So I'm going to take these other MIDI information, just grab this and mute those right quick. I only want to focus on the hi-hat right here. So I'm going to even condense my loop range here. And I'm going to do, I'm going to humanize it, I guess. I'm going to go here, humanize it, just kind of make it. Get it off beat somehow. Yeah, so. So it's just off beat. And so what I'm doing is I'm I'm providing a scenario as to how sometimes audio comes into your to your project. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bounce this in place right quick. And let's heighten this. As a matter of fact, let's normalize it real quick. Just so you can see what's going on. So we have the grid in the background, as you can see. My cursor is snapping to the grid and you can see that the audio is not necessarily locking in place. You see, it's just all. So if you wanted this to lock on the grid. Then this is what you do. So in Studio One, we got this thing called. Audio bin, so we click here and analyze you can change your sensitivity to standard or sensitive let's go for standard and i'm gonna analyze this so i think it did a pretty decent job as to where it placed the markers now if you have a more complicated audio then you may need to switch to sensitive sensitive that way you can pick up a lot better but i think this is cool so far so we got this thing up here called quantize is listed by action and it's it's on and the strength is 100 now if i hit apply it will do its best to lock in place that's one way of doing it so if i hit apply it locks in place this one right here didn't do so well which is fine because it's something else i want to show you so as you can see it pretty much locked everything according to where it where it gets the, the transits are you know, some of them I could just move manually. It's it's pretty much on point. Let's hit this first one, which is not a problem. I can go back in and I can reanalyze or I can just grab my, my bin tool. What I'm going to do here is click right here first, just so it protects whatever, you know, before it. So me putting one right here is like a wall, so to speak. I'm going to get rid of this one that's already there. Let me see if I can zoom in some. It's just too far off. I'll just go ahead and just delete that one. And then I'm going to just put one right here in the beginning. And then just depending on where you are located, the top or bottom of the, of the event, the tool will change accordingly. So with this icon, I can just go ahead and just, just drag that over, you know, to the one. Now, right here, I didn't feel like it did a great job where the bit marker is according to where the, the actual transient starts. So I'm going to hit my option or alt key if you're on PC. It's my option and I can move that bin marker over and then let go. And then I can just move this manually and it puts it there. And like I said before, you definitely want to pay attention, you know, when you move stuff. It will move everything. Okay, let me let me delete that. I'll undo. Let me show you exactly what I'm saying. So if I didn't put anything right there, if I move this, it also affects the audio before it and after it. And you can kind of see it a little bit here, but this is what's going on. So if I don't want to affect the audio before it or after it, then, you know, I'll do, I'll put a wall there to protect it. Same thing here. Let's go to this one and I'll just delete that. 
and then I'll put one here. And then I'll protect myself there, protect myself there, and then just move that one back. Now, what we're doing is, is a process of warping, so to speak. This is, a, this is one way you can lock things in place. We'll put one here to protect what's going on. I see there's one right here. And I'll just go ahead and just delete that one and put it there. That, that's another way to do it. And like, like I said, you can always go back up here and you can, you know, re rescan everything and it will it probably will lock better in place if we did that. Now this time I'm going to switch over to slice instead. All right, so we got a bin markers here and let's uh let's go ahead and apply it. So everything sliced in place and then it puts auto phase in places to keep it from clipping. I felt like it didn't really do that great of a job there, but and that's because the, of the transient locations, which is not a problem. Let's undo. Um, I guess if I had everything locked in place, it, it'll work better in my favor. What about merge? Merge is the same thing, but it, it, it merged everything within the region and you can see the editable choppings that happens in the, uh, the piano roll, so to speak, or this section down at the bottom. So let's do that. Let's apply that. And so this is a merge, right? Because you could take this and move this around however you want. But down here, you still have the option to edit everything, which is another pretty cool trick. All right, so that's that's kind of how that, that works. I'm going to try without the auto fades. And again, I could take everything, bring it back. You know, now, now it becomes a... You know, it looks a little bit better. You know, I didn't really care for everything being overlapped like that. So, you know, if you wanted to work with audio like that, let's go backwards. Let's say I didn't want to merge. Take off auto fill, quantize. So now everything is being brought to the front, the forefront, so I can see everything. Select everything. Yeah, so there you go. And then, you know, if if you want to go even further, you feel like it chopped some stuff off. I mean, this is like the other thing that Studio One can do. You can always go in and just move stuff around like this. And that's hidden option and command on the PC. That might be alt and command. I'm not sure what, what it would say on the PC, but you, you, you're holding down two buttons and you can bring stuff back and forth. So like doing it this way, it's not like you lost everything. Everything is not, you know, dest destructed. Same for this here. You know, that number one just gives me problems. So I can just bring that back just like that. Well, there we go. And that's pretty much how you deal with quantizing audio inside of Studio One. Let me know in the comment section if this was helpful or not as it inspires me to keep doing videos like this. And if you have any ideas that you want me to touch on, I'll definitely do so. My name is Ellup once again. Remember music is art, you're the artist. Paint your picture. Stay creative without rules.